we didn't know what it was, to be honest. And I just thought, this is different. I've always wondered what it was because I just see it around. There's like propellers on the side of it. It just looks weird with the wheels driving and turning and all that stuff. But I've never personally been in one. I'd be open to it just to like experience like in the future of technology and uh, yeah, I feel like maybe you guys are you guys have got like brains behind it and you guys have been driving it around for a while. I would try. I'm open to trying one. Yes. Like people are crazy drivers, so like especially in Arizona. I think anybody who cycles regularly, you know, runs into people not watching out for you or blocking the bike lane or sometimes being like weirdly road ragey about sharing the road. So it could, in, the, in a good way, I think, lead to like traffic smoothing if the technology is set that way for it. So I like that. I'll say for people that are disabled, it's definitely like a huge benefit. I think it would actually be good for people who couldn't drive themselves, um, just so they won't have to rely on, you know, family members who are busy and stuff like that. It just gives them some more autonomy. I personally don't drive for like my own mental health reasons, uh, and this is something that could be much more accessible. My brother, because he was recently, like a year or two ago, he was up in an accident to the point where he can't use his left arm. We don't have to teach any more children to drive. Please, no. Teaching your kid to drive is the worst thing you have to do as a parent. Worse it's worse than, than potty, than potty training. <laughs> it is worse than, <laughs> it's, it's the worst. I think it's a great thing. You know, I think it's an advance in the future. And I think we should always be looking towards the future.